All right, we're in. Flywheel, which is definitely part of this engine, says here. May 1941. Got here back behind the points. I'll tell you what, these points look clean. This condenser, I don't even know if that's a, an original Briggs condenser. This stuff back here looks clean though. So, I don't know. I'm going to try maybe cleaning these points, get a better look at them, clean them. And then I'm going to test and see if this coil has any life left to it. The magneto. And if, uh, if it's, you know, I think that it might just be this, this coil's bad. Because looking at these points and condenser, they look good back here. But I have a new condenser and I have um, new points if I need them. I just don't think that it's the points from the looks of it. It's more than likely this condenser uh, magneto from the looks of it now the way this is looking. But uh, I'll try to get an all meter on here and see what I get. I don't know exactly how to test this thing and no one's told me exactly how to. I've watched some videos on it but I just have to try to figure this out myself so first I'm gonna try cleaning up these points a little bit I don't even know if they need it maybe regap them spray some contact cleaner on there if I need to they might have a little bit of shit on them I don't know they look pretty damn good though anyway that's the update on the IR6 it, this uh this right here this saved the day if I didn't have that this thing was not coming off because it took a lot just to get that this nut and bolt to come off and then um, it's a good thing I had the uh, the flywheel knockoff tool that I ordered because it still would have been a real pain in the butt to get that off so that's the status that's where I'm at all right guys